Ew, self-shame Friday, here I come. Uh, found this in the boyfriend's nightstand, <laughs> not a fan. Please roast and tell me how to tactfully say no, you need to go get something different. You know what, let's set up a betting pool. How many days do you bet do you think it'll be before she starts posting complaining about her boyfriend left her? So I'll tell you this right now, I ain't sticking around for anybody if they made fun of me for the engagement ring I got them. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash I am a total POS because the world is definitely a horrible place. We're getting closer to idiocracy and Wally is not too far on the horizon afterwards. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. This video can hit them fat stack of them thousand likes, I would be blown away. Uh, today, I took my 13 year old son to a restaurant but since he tried to order himself i didn't get him anything and ate everything myself since he needs to learn to respect his parents was this a good move gee let me see you took your son to a restaurant and got upset when the son did the thing at the restaurant you're supposed to do what's next on the agenda taking your kid to the amusement park and getting pissy when he has fun i can absolutely guarantee when you hit 65 to 75 you're gonna be the type of person that says you need to respect your elders meanwhile hitting him with a cane because you know the good old rules for the except for me thing is all too common and I absolutely hate that kind of stuff you know it's it's almost as if you should treat other people the way you want to be treated Danish TV compares Moroccan players hugging families to monkeys the Danish broadcaster had apologized in response to the tweet by a group of documenting oppression against Muslims who called out the segment earlier on Saturday you know it's almost as if saying, hello monkey, it wasn't exactly anything that's ever going to sit right, is it? And now that I think about it more, the fact that that made it all the way to Danish TV means that every single person who saw that that was going to be pitched saw nothing wrong with it. It was only at the point where somebody else pointed it out after it aired on TV, they thought, oh, dang, no, we got caught? Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, now we're sorry. Lucy Ledby trial. Air was injected into babies, but what the f- A line of gas in front of the spine was a striking finding on a post-mortem x-ray of a baby allegedly ended by nurse Lucy Ledby. Her trial has hurt. Why, though? What's the motivation behind any of this? Some people are just legitimately sick in the head, and I really do hope this lady isn't, isn't even allowed around hospitals and isn't allowed around kids again. A Michigan woman is charged with targeting her own daughter in a catfishing scheme. I, basically, she was cyberbullying her own daughter, which I have honestly no idea why anybody would do that, and I really think that if I had gone without bullying growing up, I probably would be a lot happier. You know, it's just kind of one of those things you think is going to happen. But no, for some reason, you went the whole back in my day mentality and thought, yeah, no, this will toughen her up. And you know what's stupid? When the first thing that comes to my mind is actually a cartoon episode that had quite literally the same plot. It's American Dad. The episode is called Bully for Steve. And uh, well, it doesn't end the exact same way, but karma does come around in both scenarios. Bottom line, you know it's bad when I can reference a cartoon episode with a creepy amount of accuracy. Did you know the Corrections Corporation of America, the largest for-profit prison company in America, spends nearly a million dollars a year against cannabis legalization? This is their official reason why. Changes with respect to substances and controlled substances could affect the number of persons arrested, convicted, and sentenced, thereby potentially reducing demand for correctional facilities to house them. So let me see if I got this in a nutshell kind of definition. You want to keep it illegal because then you can keep on arresting people for it. Right? That's pretty much all I see. I, I do know for a fact, though, that it getting legalized in Maryland in Ju uh, July, so I'm gonna have a happy birthday, though. A blind dog is dumped in freezing sea and rescued by a fisherman. I hate the fact that those words just came out of my mouth. Imagine coming home with your report card and your parents do a react video. I, yeah, no, I wouldn't exactly feel too happy about my report card and probably wouldn't bring it home in the future, but you know the parents would ask, Hey, where's your report card? No, we need to make a YouTube video continuation. Hey, Mom, I got bullied at school today. All right, camera's rolling. Okay, I'm gonna react to your bullying. Tell me your kid's totally gonna move out the second they have the financial ability to without saying it. Little girl goes to heaven while her parents are watching. Emotional. Yes, I know you you're dying, but please do look at the camera. Look, look, look. Okay. Oh, okay. Video over. Look, there is a lot of things that 
to document when it comes to life. The ending process is not one of them though. I looked in the comments of the post, the girl in this actual video did wind up surviving, so that's good. This is just an absolutely horrible video title, and I hate that this is actually a trend on YouTube. A woman caught shoplifting at a Bergen County Walmart deliberately dropped kicked her baby across the floor while being taken into custody, and then showed no remorse afterwards, authorities said. Why, why, what did you even think was gonna happen? Like, oh yeah, I need a diversion. What did you honestly think was going to happen next? I am legitimately curious as to what you thought was going to happen. Because last I checked, I thought it was common sense to not kick babies, but no common sense has apparently been in short supply for a good while now. I have noticed uh, that the word hero is being used to describe feats that are far from heroic. Yesterday, a woman was described by many as a hero and an angle for jumping into a shallow pool and picking up a struggling child at this pool. It was a nice thing to do, but it wasn't heroic. Please leave the term for those that actually deserve it, just in case you don't actually know what hero means. Ah uh, yes, coming from the word who doesn't know it as spell frickin' angel, a hero, heroine, if it's a feminine form, is a real person or a main fictional character who, in the face of danger, combats adversity through feats of ingenuity, courage, or strength. Hey, thanks for your kind words, dum-dum. I wouldn't consider myself a hero or an angle, just someone at the right place at the right time. FYI, the way pool isn't a shallow pool for a four-year-old child. Yeah, no, no, those little dudes are like three feet tall and the pool can get up to five feet deep. Uh, yeah, nah, if it's just, if it's tall for them, it, it, then it's not shallow. You know, personally, I would see somebody as heroic if, um, oh, I don't know, they were the only person to jump after the kid and try to get the kid. Meanwhile, everybody didn't know what to do. So, you know, the person that probably breaks that mold would be somebody that kind of stands out as heroic. But what do I know? The only thing I got different between you and I is that I know how to spell angel. But yeah, no, you're totally more credible when it comes to word definitions and everything. You know, you would honestly think that somebody that's supposed to be enforcing laws would understand the one that he's breaking right now because the captions stated that the vehicle here was parked overnight and on multiple occasions in the handicapped spot. Just because you are a person of the law does not mean that you are above it. I know there are a lot of instances where where there are people that think they are, but that is very much not true. Called rule of law for a reason. Everybody is supposed to obey it. I wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long. He finally called me yesterday and opened up, but the second he started crying, I lost all interest in him quickly. This is a safe space, but not that safe. For anybody wondering why some dudes are very hesitant to open up, it's because we've run into people like this before. They suck. And because there isn't any physical way to tell whether or not a person is not going to use your words against you, you kind of just have to go with a bunch of caution from a lot of times. A former blank highway patrol trooper has pled guilty to three accounts of forceful SA involving children and was sentenced to serve 30 months of probation. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't probation where you are not arrested, but you just have to periodically check in with somebody? Nurses are fired after patient mocking viral video. The clip poked fun at moms-to-be refusing medication and fathers asking for a paternity test. A U.S. hospital has fired four nurses who appeared in a TikTok video mocking patients, demands, and behaviors. Atlanta-based This Healthcare referred to the quartet as former employees in an Instagram post on Friday. The 60-second clip, viewed by hundreds of thousands of people, shows nurses making fun of people who ask to take a shower and eat upon arriving at the hospital to have labor induced, refuse pain medications despite being in obvious pain, or ask the nurse how much the baby weighs and it's still in your hands. I actually remember seeing the video on this and like none of what they were making fun of were stupid questions whatsoever and didn't justify any of the comments made by any of the nurses. Something that would be a stupid question is walking into a retail store and then asking what store this is in or looking at somebody wearing the uniform and asking if they work here. Not something like, hey, can I take a shower beforehand or I don't want any meds or hey, can I make sure that the kid is mine 
or I did something happen. So hopefully at least one of the four people fired are able to learn from this. An accused Arizona cult leader has 20 wives as young as age 9 and possibly married his own daughter, FBI alleges. You know, I think I remember every Sunday when the church lets out, there's usually a couple of cop cars outside um, to help guide traffic. Can we get a couple of people inside of the building too? Pictured, shameless shopkeeper who told a deaf 81-year-old his Euro Millions ticket was a loser so she could steal his 130,000 pounds. This actually has a good ending to it because the lady here, the dum-dum here, got 28 months in prison and the person who actually had the winning ticket got to keep it and they got their money. And it really does suck how money does wind up being the root of all evil and stuff in the sense that you suddenly think, oh yeah, no, you're perfectly fine. You're good to buy the ticket. Oh, you won? All right, now I'm gonna be evil. Georgia Pasture and wife are charged with false imprisonment after people are found in a locked basement. Investigators determined that eight people in the basement, all with mental or physical disabilities or both, were essentially imprisoned against their will. Ah, yes, such a wonderful thing about religion and being a pastor and all that jazz, being one of the heads of the church, is that every once in a while, people get the mindset that thinks that this is perfectly acceptable. What a wonderful thing religion is. But with that, that is going to have to be with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye